And we should have a working microphone. Let me know when you're ready, Rosma. Yep, I'm ready. Alright, uh, hidden spot. Any of you motherfuckers are calling me Australian in chat, I'll fucking kill ya. up on chat when I get a bit of a pause in the action here, probably after this fight. Sorry about the audio issue, um, my mic decided to come unplugged, as it sometimes does when I look at it funny or breathe on it, so I had to unplug it, plug it back in, then re reboot both uh, Discord and OBS. It's fucking ground crew, mate, they need to clean these canopies more. Yeah, not use fucking chip grease to clean it with. Just get VR and stick your head out the canopy. Yeah, true. See, now he's figured out how to actually Inside. use the thing, and I'm in trouble. You can kill him in a hornet all day, but as soon as he's in a mirage, I am in deep shit. Every time we fight, what the fuck just happened there? My view got all messed up. But yeah, happens pretty much every time we fight in the Mirage. We just go into the downward death spiral until whoever's lower has to pull out first.
as you do. I had pretty much the same experience. I tend not to touch the fly-by-wire switch just because it, it becomes too easy for me to get over enthusiastic on the stick and pull the nose too hard. Um, I feel like once I get the hang of flying the MiG-21 a little better because you've really got to hold that thing on a knife's edge, that's when I can start pulling the fly-by-wire in the Mirage. Like if I can hold the MiG-21 without stalling it, I mean without stalling it instead of just being able to recover it, that's when I can pull the fly-by-wire in the Mirage. This is Zell versus Tawny at the moment. Tawny's in the, the uh, Mirage in back. No, you can't. Once you pull it, you're done. If it was something you could just pull for individual maneuvers, it would be filthy. I'd be on it all the time. It's I think the only way to reset it is to actually repair the aircraft in DCS. Notice Tony doesn't use his air brakes nearly as much as I do. In fact, I don't think I've seen him pop him out once yet. Or as I'm on the all the time. is its multi-role its, uh, multi capability, as well as its ability to pull ridiculous G, whereas the Mirage is just, like, that delta wing really changes the way that you fly it. It gives you so much lift to play with. Hornet will be able to reliably turn inside a Viper, the Mirage
Mirage will be able to turn inside it, probably. Um, I'm not 100% certain, but from everything I've read, it should be able to turn inside it. Uh, the Mirage in general will handle much lower or low speed from the looks of things. Oh, hello. Hey, CJ. Thanks for the raid, man. We're in trouble here. Tawny's finally figured out that uh, if you can't beat him, join him. He's flying the Mirage, and he's killed me twice in a row now. Because, as it turns out, it's not just me, it's if a Mirage gets behind you in general, you can't get rid of it. So we're uh, watching him bully Zell here. I think he might be out of ammo, or he's very close to being out. That's a perfect opportunity for a shot there, looks like he's going for a ram. Yep, he's out of ammo. How do you reckon he's a better pilot than me, Gurn? If this was me, I would have killed Zell like 10 minutes ago. Tawny's not aggressive enough on the break end. Like, he's had a lot of good opportunities and he's just either overshot or he's had to go up around because he's been coming in too fast. He needs to get on the break. Like, I have my brake bound to a thumb switch that I can hit easily because I'm on that thing all the fucking time. And if you listen to me when I'm flying, you can hear the wind every time I hit that brake. Ooh, Tawny cut that one a bit close. Staying in the fight instead of running away like a bitch. Uh, you can tell that you haven't been here for a few days because I haven't run away from a fight for quite a while now. It's him that runs away. See, after um, he realized his little routine of trying to get me into a turn fight wasn't working, he abandoned that and instead started trying to jink from side to side, and that was when I was having trouble with Jet Wash. And then when the Jet Wash went off, that stopped working. So at the moment, Tawny just rolls and jinks when I get behind him. So there's no need for me to run away, because he never sustains a turn long enough for it to uh, bleed my energy off. He didn't make it so I couldn't run away, Gurn. Like, it's a 12 mile limit. I have literally never flown outside of, like, 5 miles to do it. If you want to see running away, um, yesterday I kept losing sight of Zell because he just, as soon as we got through the merge, he dived for the deck and just ran, and with his radar off too. So I couldn't see him, not least because I was half asleep. Sound like excuses. You're welcome, Gurn, to uh, get yourself a DCS module and jump in here and fight me if you'd like. See, really all Tawny has to do here is conserve his fuel and run Zell out without overshooting. Oh, here it comes. Nice. There we go. <laughs> no bullets. Have to use my chemical. Sarah's <laughs> in. Uh, oh, Chandrian left. Alright, you stay in. It's it. No, we're in a... Get in flight. Or no more. I keep forgetting I don't need to hit that anymore. They fixed that.
He's not gonna get his nose around. He's not gonna get his nose up. Rubber it in. Could have tried for a snap there, but didn't really need to. Off the power on the brake. He's trying to force an overshoot here, it ain't gonna work. Rolled out just in time to avoid that, but he keeps doing that, pulling up abruptly in front of me. Boys, I'm gonna quickly close the server. I'm gonna uh -huh. take the pylons off the Hornet. See if gotcha. A little... uh -huh. There we go, that should make things a little interesting. Uh, usually, the Hornet does have the pylons on when I fly against it, so we'll see how much of a difference that makes to the drag. Anyway, that gives me a chance to catch up on chat. Uh, guess who you're talking about, Pong? Here you go. Hey, man. Experimenting with pulling. Oh, yeah, I already read that. I have a great memory. Hornet should be able to reliably kill a Viper. Most things should be able to kill a Viper if the Viper doesn't know what he's doing, and most of them won't. A lot of them are probably going to G-lock right, themselves, getting too enthusiastic on the pull. And then when they figure out to stop doing that, they're going to get too slow, and the Hornet will kill them in both cases. Or not the Hornet, the... Well, actually, yes, the Hornet and the Mirage will kill them in both cases. So, yeah. It's going to be fun when the Viper comes out. There'll be a glut of clueless pilots with no idea how to handle their aircraft, just like there was when the Tomcat came out. And I'm going to enjoy going on every server I can and trashing them all. Power of Viper, it's going to make it interesting. Yeah, it does have a really good thrust away ratio. The Mirage is, uh, it's a fast plane, but it's kind of lacking in engine power. Okay, we'll jump on the red Mirage. Alright, I'm going to, uh, let me know when it takes They're actually loading fast again. I think they may have fixed whatever they did a couple months ago. I am ready. All right, unpause. For those who are maybe new to the channel, welcome. I will try and catch up on chat between fights. Uh, it's a little difficult. I use my phone to read chat, I only have the one monitor, so I've got to kind of time it between fights. Obviously don't want to take my eyes off the screen while I'm dogfighting, or I'll never see these guys again. He's just barely going to get the nose up, so we're going to jink away. Hit the brakes. Rudder it back in. Here's the snap. Tagged him with that. I think that's an engine gone. And he's leaking something, probably fuel. Nice. Engine. I think it's a little bit more responsive. It probably is. I don't know if it's going to be a difference maker, but yeah. Be a little bit more of a challenge anyway, so that's good. Hmm. Alright, so, off you go, boy. You're in next day. What was that? I missed it. You're in next, buddy. Next one in. Uh, uh... Jeez, where am I? Red? Uh, no, yeah, just wait for this uh, fight to finish and then you jump in, the loser, loser spot, whoever loses, take over. So, sounds good. Okay, uncoordinated roll, just in case he takes a snap. Break, off the power. 
See, I want to force him below me, because once he gets below me, he can't pull the nose up for a snapshot. Whereas, I can easily go down and hit him. But if he's above me, he can do it. The Hornet pulls Alpha well, but not as well as the Mirage. Nothing in the game pulls as well as the Mirage, not even the MiG-21. Try and avoid the wreckage. Alright, so you're going to blue slot Echo when you're ready? Sweet. I'll just make sure everything's where it's meant to be. <laughs> Alright, spawning when you're Spawning. Which is good for me, it means he's not going to get a chance at shooting me on the remerge, which is where I'm at my most vulnerable. That's where Tawny keeps killing me. I've 100% lost sight of him already. <laughs> so conserve some fuel, don't need to be in burner at the moment. Power on and close the distance now. Oof. Uh, as soon as it started to start, I was like, yep, he's got me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just pop out of the slot, mate. Alright, hidden flag. So for those interested, my predictions for the Folds of Honor, um, or Fight for Honor tournament is that it will be won by someone in either a Mirage or an F5, probably. I reckon. I mean, it's the pilot more than the plane, but those two aircraft are just so good at wrecking the average pilot in this. I don't know. Oh, he hit my wing. Good kill. See, that's when I'm in danger. That's when the he can snap. get me on that snapshot. Alright. I uh, it. waited a little oh, yeah. long to jink. Runs like a dream. Very nice. And my car caught on fire. Not so nice. <laughs> I guess you can only have one or the other, right? Fight you in the train of Mustang and beat you by a fair mile. You're on. I'll take you in the spit and I'll kill you with it. Hey Lucas, have the UFO 15, 25T be a good meme? I need to, um, I need to remind Tawny to throw in a SU-25 slot with, like, just full gun pods. I think it can, I, I can't remember, I think it can carry, uh, four or six? I'm not sure. Plus the double barrel 30 mil on the aircraft itself. Yet to even fly the 25T, same. I've only flown in the old school 25. Terrible gunning with the 25T because, quote, the gun is too accurate. Yeah, for air to ground purposes, the gun is too accurate for me. 
because oh, I'm okay. not good at lining up in the short amount of time I have. Like, I'm, I'm just bad at ground attack in general, especially yep. strafing things with the gun. Mm -hmm. Only fly clicky planes, I just cross the threshold of enough physical switches to never need my mouse anymore. <laughs> Excellent. Can I join for a bit? Um, yeah, sure. The server name is Tawny, T-O-R-N-I, and the password is Tawny Twitch, no space. Um, and we're just in Tawny's Discord, so if you go over to his stream, he'll have a link to his Discord in there. Uh, give me a sec. Actually, Pom's in here. Pom can do a shout out, save me tapping out of the game. fighting mirages. I don't fight them very often. Usually, um, I'm the only one that flies it in here. And usually on Just Dogfight, there's only one or two people in it, and usually the other person in it is Pixie, who just hangs out at 60,000 feet and vultures anyone that's already engaged. He doesn't actually dogfight. And, uh, on the occasion I pulled him into a dogfight, I've absolutely trounced him, so... visibility it does but it's better than the MiG-21 and honestly in the grand scheme of things it's not so much the visibility it's more the radar and the radar is not as big of a deal in these kind of fights okay so apparently Pom didn't do a shout out give me a sec here if you do want to get in voice um on Tawny's channel there, he's got a link to his Discord, but yeah, the server name is... One sec. There we go. So if you guys want to jump in, by all means, we're doing kind of round-robin rules, so winner stays in, loser rotates out. Spawned in. Fly. Can't let him get that snapshot this time. So hard to tell where he's pointing from this angle, but he's not going to get the nose around. So we'll cut under him, rudder it in. Still not going to get the nose around, he physically can't do it. We'll just keep ruddering it in. Sooner or later he's going to have to level off or dive. There it is. So once I get through this, once I'm behind him, I'm pretty much safe. Um, really the only way he can do anything to me now is if I do something stupid, like if I'm not paying attention. But otherwise, once I'm behind him, behind him I'm good. Um, it's just that initial remerge where I'm in pretty severe danger. So I've got to somehow not get shot and avoid his guns and then get around behind him. I could try something other than going straight vertical out of the merge. The problem is my eyesight's really bad. So I tend to do that just for the sheer fact it helps me see where they go. Uh, I may have forgot to flip the master arm. That was embarrassing. There we go. I forgot the master arm there. All good now though.
Does the Hornet produce weight turbulence? Like a uh, fucking Airbus taking off? Yeah, the, the weight turbulence is busted at the moment. It's like way too powerful. Yeah, if I got behind him while he was turning, it would physically rip my wings off. So, it's disabled. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. Why is my gun not working? And that case should definitely have it on. Why is the gun switch off? What the <laughs> fuck? I suppose it depends on whether or not they have it in, on in the folds or on a comp. I do, and I end up scratching together enough to enter it, I'll just have to keep my distance. I think it's best two out of three anyway. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. We're not gonna win this. So Hopefully they don't put, it. like, the same dress against each other at first. Okay, this could be a little risky. There we go. I did not see where he just went. Oh, shit! Got behind me a lot faster than I expected. Is a classic tawny overshoot. Now we just gotta figure out where the fuck he went. Ah, he's still behind me. Clever girl. had nothing but problems there. First my master arm was off, then the gun switch was off, which it shouldn't have been. I don't know why the gun switch was off. But he's getting better. He can actually, uh, he can actually kill me now. Clicked accidentally uh, in the until uh, quiet jumps in. Initial He's clicking. Next. Oh, maybe. Yeah, could have been. Once quiet's in Discord, uh, we'll be next. If I get distracted during the uh, setup, I right, tend to click the wrong thing. That's oh, fine. and I was in the Mirage and I didn't get killed by him and I very nearly got him before he killed himself. Okay, if you say so. But you've seen how fast I can stop that. Is next, and then uh, looks like Quiet's in, so you'll be after Echo. Then Ross. Right. Uh, uh, the faster you stuck is the faster you die? Not really. Like, uh, the whole point is I can stay behind someone yep, because of the speed control of the Mirage. The P 51 doesn't turn very well. Like, you have to know what you're doing to turn that thing. 
I guarantee you, you'll stall it out and kill yourself. Easier said than done, dude. We got to the merge, and I thought you went up, and then I completely lost you. <laughs> it's half the battle, eh? Hey? Keeping your eyes on them. Flying against the Mirage makes you really good at spotting planes, so... Gotta say, the Hornet's a perfect shade of grey, that when you're coming down from above, I cannot see which way you're pointed. I can only barely see yeah. you at all. Um, quiet jump in, bro. Jump in a red slot. Alright, hidden. If that's... Ready. Oh, no, there we go. Should do the sneakies like the Canadians and paint the fake canopy on the bottom of it. I'm not sure if it's really that effective anyway, to be fair. Like, it's definitely an interesting idea, I just don't know how well it would work. If it doesn't blend, um, the underside of the jet will tend to be streaked with oil and crap, so you can usually tell which is the bottom. Then if you've got weapons on board, it makes it obvious. I mean, some American squadrons adopted it after seeing the Canadians do it, but yeah, like I said, I just, I don't know how effective it would be, to be honest. It seems like it would only really be any use after you've ditched all your missiles and you're clean, and even then it's a bit questionable. Kind of fucked up there. I should have pulled straight into him. I just threw away my advantage. And he's gonna be able to bring the nose around from up there. Maybe? Nope. Nice. I'm in. What do you mean it's bamboozled me an IL-2 gun? Nothing in IL-2 has a fake canopy pointed on it. Or, uh, painted on it, sorry. Keep up with the conversation, my dude. his nose. It's under me. He's not going to get shot. Is he going to go horizontal or vertical? I think he's going to try and rudder it in for a shot here, which he's not going to get. Yeah, nowhere near. So I'm watching their nose as they come down like that and trying to figure out if it's pointed at me or under me. If it's under me, I'm not in danger at all because they can't pull it up. If it's above me, he's pulling lead for a shot, so I'm really in trouble. And if it's on me, he's probably going to nail me. 
but here we're pretty pretty sweet. He's nice and slow, very close. All I gotta do is just watch my speed and make sure he doesn't try and bait me into an overshoot. Nice and slow, rudder it in. A little over enthusiastic there. stay out of burner now, I don't need it. So I'll save some fuel. Let him waste his. So if the fight does happen to drag on for whatever reason, he'll run out first. Okay, now we're going to put the burner back on just to close the distance a little better. There's our first fuel warning. Still got plenty. In this mission, uh, I spawn in with 48% fuel, so it's basically just above my first fuel warning. So I'm not concerned about that. It's when I hear the doorbell that I need to start worrying. Okay, starting to gain some distance. Oh, wow. Okay, that was interesting. Not sure if he's deliberately using the sun here or if he's just doing it by chance, but it's a bit annoying. chance for a snap. I think I just took some paint. Okay, back in burner, close the distance. I know he's going slow when he holds the nose up like that. Nice. Um, right, I think Eka, then Quiet. And then Flieger, and then myself again. In. In. Oh, yeah, in there. <laughs> You're a bit full on today, Gun. Shot, man. Nice. All right, quiet. You're up. I'm back in the room now. All right. Ready. Spawning. Try and get a little horizontal separation on the merge just because if they pull up I don't want to get hit and it makes it easier for me to see what they're going to do. Okay, he's going to get his nose around here under me. I'm going to put a little bit of rudder on. His nose has dropped. Not even really pulling that hard here. I just gotta watch that nose. Keep watching it. Yeah, we're safe. We are well and truly safe. Start ruddering. There we go. Now, one thing I will have to watch out here is a cobra. If I get too close, that could be a problem, but at this distance, it just makes for an easy target. I only got the 33, so I'm gonna have to be on red. I did I'm slightly overshoot there, but I can get away with it. If I do, I'll be back. I get it. Alright, 
All right, uh, Flieger, you're in. All right, I got the 33, so I'm gonna. Oh, okay, to switch over. Yep, there right. you go. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn. It's falling, boys. When you're. I really do need to get my Silent Hunter 3 install fixed. It'd be pretty cool to do. Maybe some chill streams of that. Just set aside a day or so. I am comically bad at submarines as well, so it'd be some good content. You guys would get to watch me do dumb shit and get myself sunk by fishing trawlers. Ah, last year already. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Okay, we don't need to be in burner here. Not in the horizontal. Rift still closing. Okay, burner back on. start tickling the brakes because I have a sneaking suspicion he's going to try and pull a cobra or do something else tricky ah, here as I get close. GG. What happened? Oh, I got hit in the wing. Your wing's fine on my screen. Oh, alright. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your plane's fly flying off. <laughs> my, ele my electronics were all fucked too. I can go shoot oh, down okay. if you want, but no, it's still going. Alright. I guess. Alright, you ready, Rosemum? <laughs> yeah, give me a sec. Ah, uh, swap over again. Muskin. Roger. Hidden. I'm in. follow him up, we don't have the energy, it's just a waste to do it, we're going to go over to the side and just watch him, hard to see his nose, but I think he's going to be able to pull lead for the shot, so we're going to turn in this way, and start jinking, Brakes! Rudder it in. And there we go. We baited him. Straight past. That's uh, all good. Riding the brakes down, throttles at idle. Throttle going back on, brakes coming off, so we don't slow down too much. And we'll start pulling. Oof. Tricky here. Well, I saw something fall off there. I think that was the uh, wing tip. That was the A long. Or flapperon, or whatever the fuck it is on the Hornet. I think it's flapperon. That's gonna really mess with him. 
the missing uh, outer leading edge flap and an outer on. That thing still rolls really well. Yeah, I think the flyby wire like on the got, Hornet can account for battle damage. Like it's got pylons on. Yeah, it can. We've had him come back with rudders ripped off and the pilot doesn't even know until they do a BDA. my ammo here. Get ready to cash the chips. Of course he rolls out. Get nice and close. There we go. Roll out of that one, fucker. <laughs> Alright, next one. Right, funny. He's getting tricky. He's getting there. A couple days ago, he couldn't kill me at all. And now he's occasionally tagging me. He's making me waste ammo and fuel trying to kill him. See what his nose is doing. Ah, uh, it's on me. But not enough. Okay, is he gonna go up or is he gonna reverse? I think he's gonna reverse. There he is. Gotta watch I don't lose him. Like so, where the fuck did he go? There he is. Closure rate suggests he's flying away from me. Not sure, going. I've um, got like a compilation going at the moment. Don't need to be in burner if he's not. May as well conserve fuel. I know he's gonna, yeah. So he's in burner, but he's deliberately making himself really draggy to try and bamboozle me into overshooting, but I know exactly what's going on. Because I do that to people all the time, so that's not going to work. Okay, now we can put power on. And then come off of it again, because we'll close the gap here. Is that a tree again? I honestly close it again. Um, who was next? Flea or Echo? Uh, yeah, I'll jump in. Uh, Echo's next, and then Flea go. Come in. Spawning in. Is he gonna get a shot here? So we'll just drop in behind him. Rudder it in a little, cut inside. 
If he hadn't started nosing down there, I would have had a good shot. Or a good chance at a shot. But that's alright, we can wait. We can be patient. Yeah. <laughs> They're going too right, fast for you to get away from me like that. Blacks them out. Yeah, I'll have to make like a second playlist, which is just like general sort of stuff, and then I've got my current DCS playlist, which is mostly for when I'm flying Soviet stuff. There's a few songs that'll be overlapped on both. Just not gonna get the nose on. The SU-33 is an absolute pig at low speed. Like, if you know what you're doing, you can handle it very well. It's very agile, but if you don't, like me, it's really sluggish. I found myself missing the Mirage immediately. Okay, we're gonna put some power on here. We're gonna go under him. And just see what he does. He's gonna have to drop his nose and wing in. Here's our chance. So, the reason we're doing this is uh, these guys are practicing for the um, Fight for Honor tournament that Folds of Honor are doing for charity. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to enter it, because there's a $20 buy-in because, you know, it's for charity, and uh, I'm perpetually broke at the moment, but we'll see. If nothing else, if these guys enter, they should be a lot better off having fought me in this thing, because if they can kill me in this thing, or at least survive against me in this thing, they're going to be able to absolutely fucking destroy a lot of the people that are going to be entering that tournament. Maybe not everyone, uh, there's a lot of guys who are far better than me at this game, but the average DCS player shouldn't be too much of a challenge for them. Oh fuck, oh fuck. See how hard it is to get rid of a Mirage once it's behind you? In. Come on. Come on. Yes. Let's go for the snap here. Can't quite get it. Okay, he's reversed, which might be a mistake on his part. Depends if he can get his nose around. Nope, but neither could I. Try and cut directly across this path here. He's come out of burner. Oh, there we go. He felt that one. It's really the best way to deal with a mirage is just to 
split second opportunity for a snapshot you get every now and then. Because they're really hard to get behind and they're really hard to uh, force to overshoot. So you gotta wait for him to fuck up. Nah, it's not. Cheers. I did not think that was gonna hit. Yeah, I just saw you just pulled 40 hour away for that snap. Alright, when you're ready, boys. Like that. It's interesting because um, I posted a link in Tawny's Discord, I'll probably post it in mine after this. But I found an interview with an RAF pilot who flew Lightnings and later went on exchange to the French Air Force and flew the Mirage 2000, including against uh, various other NATO types. And it was very interesting reading. Um, it kind of gives me the impression the flight model in this is very nearly there. There's a few things that might be a bit suspicious, but it's not a UFO like everyone's claiming, certainly no more than some of the other aircraft. And uh, in addition to that, it was interesting reading about how the French had a tendency to fight Mirage on Mirage in, tr in training. And so when they ended up fighting against F-16s, um, the tactics they were using didn't work. Whereas the Greeks, who use both aircraft, uh, typically find the Mirages tend to come out on top in BFM. Because obviously, you know, they get a lot more training, uh, dis dissimilar type training than the French do. But he had a very glowing report of the aircraft. That was an abrupt change of direction. Let go. Uh, cool. I think you're in. Yep. Give this one more try. Ready. Spawning in. There are two things about this uh, the Mirage's flight model that I am a little suspicious about. One is the uh, drag model, but the Hornet has drag problems too. So you know, and the other one is the rudder authority at low speed. It just seems a little much for the size of the rudder, but. Also, according to that same interview, the Mirage's fly-by-wire is far better than any of the American types, so maybe it's something to do with that, who knows. Certainly though, from uh, what I was reading, it does seem pretty accurate that the Mirage is able to pull this aggressively without uh, why it's good. losing control. What's happening? Do you see it? It's just rolling uncontrollably. Uh, have you been pressing S for something? That'll trick the fly-by-wire override. Mm, don't know. Nope. I haven't touched. Look, I'm not touching it at all. It's just flying itself. Did you plug in any device that might be recognized as an Axis and then it'll default? No, I, I, ah. I just went offline real quick and it was working fine. Hmm. That's strange. Can you press Alt and enter and bring up your control indicator and see if it's actually a commanded input? You said Alt enter? Uh, yeah, I think, it's... I think it's right ah, control, control enter. Right control, control enter. enter. Yeah. yeah, one of them on that side brings up that little red box. Alright, uh, Flieger or Echo? Uh, I think Flieger was in before I was. Alright. Right. He's gonna, gonna fly around and fuck around. And <laughs> yeah, you did. Yep, sure. Yeah. Go after the 33 rock. I'm in. Fun. Indigo, um, Flieger. 
spawn in as well. Quiet's just mucking around, uh, trying to fuck oh, with this. Alright then. Alright, you're just about to merge now. He's below you. Merge on. Wing rip. Oh, rip wing. Mm. All right, I'm still pretty new to the flight model of this thing. <laughs> Didn't realize it ripped it. That's. Oh yeah, she's uh, real sensitive. You don't want to be pulling the um, G limiter override above about probably 400, and you don't want to be pulling the right. flyby wire above 400 either. All right. Then. If you pull it in Thank stages you. for the uh, G limiter, you can kind of get away with it, like half a second to pop, but you got to be real careful. Righto, Wicket, jump in, mate. Swap over. I go your blue slot. I'll go back to work. And, yeah, I'm um, spawning in now. Round. Probably weren't here either, so we'll start ruddering in. Cash the chips, bring the nose on. Close. Might psych him out a little. Oh, he's brave. Pulling under me like that, that is brave. Mind you, I guess he's slow enough that he got away with it. Good shot, man. Uh, cheers. Bring up my control inputs. I think that's somewhere you guys can see it, although chat will probably hide it, so you guys can uh, see what I'm doing. That's good. Uh, metric for the Sukhoi. I run everything in original language cockpit, so it's metric in the Russian aircraft. Well, so I chose red for it, which is like the worst color when it comes to uh, image compression, but whatever. Hopefully it's not too bad on the stream quality. Alright, we'll come under here. We won't go up with him, we'll just come under him. 
can see the noise issue on my rudder. I haven't applied uh, jammers denoiser to it yet. Not for DCS. I've done it for IL-2. Oh, sneaky motherfucker in the sun. Oh, he hit me. We'll do a quick BDA once I've got him in front of me. Burn is still working. Aircraft's got a really heavy right roll. But it should still be flyable. There we go. How are you still fucking flying? Uh, I'm kind of alright. I think I'm leaking something and my um, my right Bro, wing's a little draggy. But... Black and white smoke. Back. Uh, you got Hitzel on the right side of me. Yeah, the smoke's um, a bit hinky. It doesn't always show on both clients. I mean... It's a little closer than I intended, but oh well. Low-key hoping one of them will kill me soon so I can actually catch up on what you guys have been saying, but I'm not gonna feed them. If they're gonna kill me, it has to be legit. Okay. He's under me. Now is my chance to drop on him. And he's diving away. The Tomcat and the Eagle, if they dive away like this, can actually build distance. The Hornet, not so much. Especially because he's not vertically diving, he's kind of all over the place. I can come out of burner here and not really have to worry about it. Save some fuel. Okay. When I get close, he's probably going to try and force the overshoot. So we're going to be ready for him to pop his brakes and start rolling and doing some wild shit. really wish this thing had some kind of sunshade. It's a good, good strategy flying into the sun like that. Very clever. But it's not quite enough. Because as I get close I can still see him. I think the flares might be to try and draw my eyes off of his aircraft. That's pretty clever as well. But it's not quite enough. Certainly not at this range. If he was further out, the flares might distract me enough to lose sight, but not here. Make me overshoot, dude. Quite often I'll just kind of tap on the brakes through a turn to cut my radius. And you can use that to kind of bamboozle people. If they think you're going to overshoot their turn, and then suddenly you tap the brakes, drop about 100 knots and cut inside them, it'll really fuck with them. Okay, I've got to watch my closure rate here. That's what's telling me how close I am because I can't actually physically see him. DCS doesn't model sun glare or god rays very well. Like, if the sun, like, light point itself is behind something, the entire glare disappears, which is a bit bizarro. But it does work in my favour. See, that's all he's doing now, is just flying into the sun to try and get me to lose him. DCS doesn't model a lot of things. I mean, it, it models quite a lot, 
but yeah, there are still a lot of improvements to be made. I really wish it modelled FOD. I want to see people lose their engines from ingesting uh, debris, or flares, or chaff, or, um, you know, cluster munitions if they happen to fly through one as it goes off. Tapped his wing there. Oh, he punched Good out. Girl. Was that uncontrollable? Oh, you just killed my computer. Oh, okay. Alright. Quiet, you sorted it, or are you still going? Yeah, I'll give it another go. Alright. Um, jump up to red. If you're doing a 27. Yeah, there you go. Ready. I'm in. I think we've lost our music here, so I'll sort that after this fight. Nice. A couple long range shots. The actual pipper itself on the SU-27 is really good, it's like the Tomcat, it's very stable and good for long shots. The problem is that to actually get the pipper to come up, you have to have them locked. And uh, the gun funnel, for when you don't have anyone locked, doesn't have a bore sight reference, so it's basically useless. Like the gun funnel is fucking awful, but the pipper's really good. But um, it's just awkward to be always trying to actually lock them so you have the pipper instead of the stupid ass gun funnel. Whoa! That was some lag. I'm watching him wipe myself out here. Is that a parachute back there? I don't know. There's something over there. Uh, thing, man. I don't know if I'm just over controlling it or what. Mm. Might be. On it, man. I find the 27 is an absolute pig once it gets slow. Flew it like twice yesterday and immediately went back to it. Well, I flew the 33, but I went back to this thing so I just couldn't deal with it. Oh, right. Music. My bad. I wish the um, control symbology had some kind of indicator for the speed brakes on the little control window down there, because that's really as important as any of the other controls in the Mirage. I'm always on the brakes. That clicking you hear is me tapping the brake switch. I kind of fiddle with it even when I haven't got them on just so I'm ready at any second to drop the brakes and slow myself right down. Of course, the Mirage is like a giant air brake when you pull the nose up, so that helps too. Ah, good hit. Cheers. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Uh, spawning in now. Jump down the other slot, Rossman. Yeah, I had a bit of a fumble there. I do apologise for not being able to keep up with chat better guys, but as you can probably imagine, it's difficult to uh, keep my eyes on these guys and fly the plane and read at the same time. I will catch up, so don't worry, I'll get around to reading everything you guys have said, just give me some time. It is nice to see so many of you here though. 
hopefully I'm uh, providing some entertainment. I'm kind of wary, like, I don't want to overdo the whole Mirage BFM thing. I'm sure it will get boring after enough times, but it's so fun to do. And there's always, like, something I can demonstrate or that I can learn while I'm fighting these guys, so... I'll probably be doing more uh, varied stuff in the near future. I just want to help these guys get set for the tournament and possibly get set for it myself. So we'll be doing this over the next few days, probably. Really working on unlocking the Mirage's potential, and um, for these guys, figuring out how to fight one and survive. Because as I said, I reckon my prediction for the tournament is that someone in a Mirage is probably going to win it. That or an F5, but probably the Mirage is a more capable aircraft. Hey, he's not recovering that, he's missing a wing. Right there. Spawn. Jesus. Clumsy as fuck today. gonna, well, I was gonna say we're not gonna go up so steep, but then I looked and we're already 70 degrees up. But I want to try and see if I can get above him, just without getting a shot. Looks like he's got the nose up. Oh, he did hit me there. We do have engine response, it's just very slow. I'd say he's probably hit the um, digital computer, it's gone back to the old mechanical system. If I had to take a guess. The aircraft's a little wallowy as well. There it is. Can I recover it? What am I locked onto? Not him. Uh, now we've lost the afterburner. Good kill. Fuck me up in that first pass. Alright, now I can catch up. There we go. After crap. All right. She twenty five dog fight sounds like a good meme. Yeah, but I want to do it with the gun pods. Like the yeah, SU twenty five actually handles pretty well, clean. I want to do it with the gun pods just for the added meme value. First patrol, I lost out another 10,000 tons because I spent two torpedoes on an ASW trawler. I think I've gone into the story of what happened on my first um, playthrough, but put it this way your boy got into Scapa Flow a week before Gunter Green did historically in a Type 2, missed all of his torpedo shots at the parked, uh, mortared anchor Royal Oak, missed so badly they went past the torpedo net without getting caught, like totally nowhere near the torpedo net. Um, and as I was running away thinking that they would surely hear it and come kill me, heard an explosion. So that for the one time of that entire um, or that entire campaign, I used the external camera to see what I hit. And I managed to get my torpedoes under a massive tanker on the far side of Scout Flow. 
under it without detonating, and then crack the keel of a destroyer moored alongside it. Um, and that campaign ended when I decided I was going to do some uh, deck gun practice with a 20 millimeter and began shooting at sloops and stuff of Harwich in about 20 meters of water, so I had nowhere to go if I got spotted because I'm a genius. Uh, your boy may have mistaken an ASW trawler for a sloop and pissed it off. Uh, and that was the end of that. My petty officer got arrested, Jesus Christ. Wait, he doesn't know what the right, Keystone Box is? Oh, jeez. That side slip. I track fast, it's a bit hard to keep track of you, but the Mirage is really shiny looking, so it's easy to scan for you. I don't know how people fly without track IR. Um, Jammer does too, he, he uses a mouse as far as I can tell, he doesn't have track IR. I don't know how people can maintain situational awareness without it. I'm so reliant on this thing now. If I lose this, I'm fucked. I can't fly. I think in the 90s they could have got some DAC time with the Crusaders. Uh, I think that they did. Um, but after the Crusaders were retired, they obviously lost that ability. Done the Cobra 480 without issue. Yeah, you can, like, you can do it faster, you can go up to about 500, I think you can go probably 600 on the over, on the, uh, sorry, on the G limiter before you kill yourself, but I prefer to leave a big margin of safety there, just in case. Especially with the Cobra. Because it's very easy, uh, especially if you're going too fast, even if you don't rip the wings, it's very easy to end up inverted, and being inverted with a fly-by-wire pulled is really, really bad. Yeah, it's very hard to regain energy in the 33. That was my problem uh, yesterday. I just couldn't do it. I'm so used to the Mirage, you can just dump it and pick it back up instantly. And then to the 33, it feels so sluggish. Not sure how you could have missed a stationary battleship. It's a straight line. So, at the time, I thought it was clever to set the uh, torpedo stuff to manual instead of just letting the crew do it. Um, and I'm really bad at the torpedo computer, so I'd already plugged in the settings for an earlier missed shot at a destroyer on the way into Scapa Flow, um, like a day beforehand. So I forgot to check the settings, and they were totally fucked from that shot, so the torpedoes basically came out and went sideways right away. Alright, next one up. The other thing you've really got to watch on the um, flankers is the rudder. You don't want to be hammering the rudder at high speed because you'll rip your tail off. I've done it a couple of times. Like, it's fine to side skid it in one direction, but if you um, hammer it back and forth, you'll, you'll lose your tail. And once you do that, there's no recovery from it. Oh, it's not just the rudder, it's the entire tail thing, both of them. It just rips them right off.
These camera controls are so sensitive. There we go. There he is, right off the nose there. Too hard. I've got to let spill the let the speed build back up. My English is not so great today as usual. My um, brain and my mouth operate on two totally different frequencies, and it's only aggravated when I'm concentrating on something else. like someone's adopted the fly into the sun tactic. Not a bad one, to be fair. Oh, there's the hit. Didn't quite get the second. Okay, don't want to overshoot here. So he's figured out how to get the red smoke to stay at the center of the zone, so now we have a really good visual reference for where that is. Although, pretty much nobody goes to the... Uh, even the 12 mile line, let alone the 15, so... Debatable whether it's really even needed. It's coming in way too fast there, we've lost some distance. But we can make it back up, especially since I think he's only on one engine at the moment. Also means between that and the missing stab, he's not going to be able to maneuver uh, quite as hard as he normally would. Here it is, here it is. There we go. Nah, I shut my fucking stab off in the first part. Yeah, I saw that. Gonna hop off. 
All right, man. All right, corrupt soon. No worries. Thanks for coming along. Hopefully you had a good time. And um, we'll probably be doing this again tomorrow, so if you want in, you know where to find us. Spawn in. get slightly distracted there so I lost an opportunity but we're still behind him interesting my pit lights didn't spawn on First fuel warning. I'm just gonna watch he doesn't hammerhead the nose down at me. I don't think he's gonna be able to pull it quite on. He's slightly offline. Like he's on for elevation, but he was off for uh, azimuth. Bearing, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. All about watching that nose when someone's uh, coming in head on like that. Gonna tap the brakes and cut inside. Back on the power as he goes up and loses his energy. Because it takes a while for the 33 to build it back up, or the 27 rather, that he's in. Ooh, just missed. Brakes out so we don't overshoot. Little off. Brakes. Got a little too slow there. Thank God for this thing's power. The Mirage's throttle response is actually quite poor, but it uh, it does have a lot of power once it comes on. So I very nearly killed myself there, I got careless and held the brakes too long. But as you can see, this thing accelerates so fast once the engine actually catches up to the throttle input that it's not a real big problem. You can be slow near the ground without too much concern. There we go. Nice fire, man. Got it dialed in there. No. Infamous, I don't know. One of you boys. Yeah, I'm good. Ah, okay. Yeah. Morning. Hey, can you guys spectate me before? You see what I'm doing right now? How I have full control?
start pulling lead. Off the brakes now. Back on. You hear me just pumping the brakes on and off to make sure I stay behind him, but without slowing down too much. Because of the Mirage's bad throttle response, quite often I'll leave the power setting more or less alone and just uh, temper my speed with the brakes. It's easier than having to get the engine to spool back up. It also saves one extra thing to uh, think about control-wise. But I can't always do it. Sometimes I've got to cut the throttle all the way back. Quite recover. <laughs> oh man, that was good. I was, I kept on waiting for the vapor to show up. And I'm like, he's pulling his nose, he's pulling his nose. And then I just missed it. He took my wing off. I was like, damn it. Confused, go off to the side and fly, have full control, but if it's like there's a delay on all my inputs, either there's lag or something taking over. This is hosted in Australia, so that could be factoring into it. But, uh, I don't know. I find I have the problem when I'm flying the flanker in this that I am just over controlling it and I try and treat it like it's a mirage, which really doesn't work out well. It just can't pull like the Mirage can pull, and once you wash that speed off, it, it doesn't regain the energy like the Mirage can. Oh shit, I was locked on the wrong person. Just chasing the wrong guy. Oh, am I? No, no, you got, you got him. Rossman was chasing the, um, the flanker from crap and playing around. Oh, my bad, I didn't realize I was still flying. I thought I hit the ground. There's still smoke over there. Rossman, I'm still good. He's still flying. Degraded. Slightly toasty baguette. A bit of a left roll. French cooked. She didn't like that. Where the fuck did he go? Be careful because as I put Alpha on, she's trying to pull left because of the damage to the wing. I think the flyby wire is a little hinky at the moment. But we're behind him at least. But we still got afterburner, so we can still get the power on. So the amount of smoke coming out of Ross's plane, you'd think all the hide and all the fuel would have well and truly left it. Yeah, I'm not sure where the uh, fuel tanks are in the Mirage. Clearly not in the wings. Too thin. Uh, 
wings are not that thin. The actual uh, wing root's pretty fucking thick, actually. Where's the fuel tanks in it? I don't know. It's gotta be fuselage. Yeah, I think they're fuselage. Probably mostly fuselage, maybe wing roots, I'm not sure. I'd say ring roots, because you look at the size of the intakes. And there'd probably be probably at least two bags in the center to alter CG and stuff. One thing I notice watching you, uh, Ross, is that you're always on the inside of the turn. Doesn't matter what they're doing, you're always on the inside. Sitting there waiting. Yeah. Even when, like, that flanker was cruising away at, like, 400 knots, Ross is just chilling at, like, 200 knots, just waiting for him to turn back around. Use a rudder to kick the nose over to avoid stalling. I'm gonna have a lot of trouble following this, but I might, maybe, maybe, maybe get away with it. She is flying degraded, but she is still flying, so. Oh. Yeah, saddled in behind him. Not in as good a position as I was before, but we can uh, make that up here. Catch him through the turn here. Still a little fast. He's gonna try and roll out. Get me to overshoot. It ain't gonna happen. Okay. We're also below his corner speed, so don't have to worry too much about that. Oh, fuck. Gun Pippa led me astray there. I was jebated. That might help even it up a little. Don't know if it had much effect. Yeah, you being crippled makes a whole lot more even. Where the fuck? Oh. You did it too? Oh, I died, I died. He saw me go up, uh, down. Oh, okay. Oh, you did die? I saw you go under me. I didn't see you hit. Hmm. I got fed um, bullets. I don't know what to All right. Infamous, you're up. I'm in. Thanks. That was good fun. We got school pickup. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you, man. Thanks for the fights. Catch you later. Good fights. He's not going to get his nose around, so we'll just rudder it in. Cut inside him. to do that, let's do some uh, science. Nah, it's way over. That was a bad line. Get a little closer in and try again.
the is over just a touch, just a touch to get that little bit of extra energy. Just a touch. Ah, and he rolled out. I was just about to pull the lead on him. Okay, well, we wasted a bunch of fuel doing that and a bunch of ammo, but we're good. We'll make up for it here. Probably shouldn't have stayed with him in that turn for as long, but if I can see an opportunity, I will hang with them for a bit. There was no threat of him getting on me, he just couldn't turn in tighter than he already was. So, it is wasting fuel and time, but if he's in burner as well, I can afford that. Since this thing is actually relatively fuel efficient. Especially once I drop back to mill power. Very... Very fuel efficient at mill at uh, mill power. <sighs> Fucking hell! Got lucky with that one. Get away from that mirage, man. Super hard. So you gotta stay between 350 and 400 knots? Yeah, that's turn speed for the Hornet. Or corner speed, I should say. works on me if I'm right up your tail though, if I'm far enough away, it just makes you an easier target. So you gotta time it well. Cut under. He can't get his nose up. Not quite. I was watching the police inspection. Expecting to see a cobra somewhere along here. He's getting nice and slow for it. So I'm going to be pretty heavy on the brakes, keep just enough distance that I can see it when it comes. Catch him in the turn here maybe. On the rollout. Nope. Oh, he's getting tricky. Getting tricky. Under him. Breakout. Run 
Rudder it in, rudder it in. There we go. Seems to take me a couple fights to hit my stride, but then once I do, I'm usually pretty much set for a while. It's locking up the control inbox. Is it? Hmm. Well, you certainly made it harder to hit you that time, that's for sure. I've had too much speed there. That's alright, he won't be able to whip his uh, nose around for a shot. Not in that distance. So we'll just drop on him. See, he can't pull up. Oof. And now he's going to cross my nose vertically. A little far out, so not going to waste the ammo. But we could have taken a snap there if we really wanted to. Come out of burner. So for those not familiar with the Mirage, uh, the way you can tell I'm in burner aside from the control input window on the left side um, is that little green light that says PC next to my RWR. When that comes on, the burner's engaged. And that sort of wind noise is when I got my air brakes out. out just in time to avoid that. Yeah, just about scorch the paint. Start watching my ammo here. 69 rounds per gun. Giggity. Okay, we'll start pulling. That'll force him to reverse his Oh, it didn't force him to reverse his turn. Clever girl. If I had actually held that, I would have had a really good chance at a deflection shot there, but I expected him to roll out when he saw the wing vapor, like he usually does. Ah, he's back to this game. It's getting me nice and slow. So we're gonna disengage and reset the fight. He's bringing back the old tactics now. That That's a whole week ago he was doing that last. Reasonably sure I saw him go under me straight ahead. 
but I've lost sight of him now. When he gets behind me, he can kill me. The main issue is just stopping him from ever getting behind me. The um, the Hornet has a lot of ammo to play with, whereas sure. I don't, so he can afford right, to kind of spray and hope for the best. Alright, uh, hidden spot.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here it comes. I'm just gonna get a line up here. Oh, that reversal! See if you can take advantage of it, it's really slow at the moment. to a spin. Oh, he might have caught it. Oh, he's lost control. Thought for a second then that uh, Zell was going to come on stuff and just about cross in front of his nose. Alright, he's next.
what is going on here? I don't know if that's some sort of desync uh, issue or what, but I would have thought that would have ripped off by now if it was actually open. Some kind of next level air brake, obviously. Guess who died in the English Channel? I've done that. I saw, um... Uh, I can't remember which ship it was, but it was one of the French battleships. Uh, it might have been Dunkirk. And I got really greedy and decided to go take a pop at it, and I just got wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. The Channel is a bad place to be. Yeah, Grey Wolves is more dangerous. Is it like, I think 30 meters for most of its width? Something like that? It's really not deep. Yeah, no, you weren't in Grey Wolves. You just weren't. Um, the time I got caught in the channel, I think I had to play cat and mouse. It was just one, but I had to play cat and mouse with it for about 45 minutes, and it eventually just gave me enough time to get charges that I kind of sank. Well, I was on the bottom already, but I um, couldn't get off the bottom. Oh, uh oh. Got a bit of a situation here. have a shot here. He's pretty far off but he should have a shot. Bit of desync there. Okay, I guess he's too far out. pointed on the aircraft, he might be able to pull one, and if his nose is above the aircraft, like if his nose is pointing out in front, he's going to be able to take it, but it's just not quite on there. There we go, there's the hits. And there 
there go the engines. I'd say he's probably out of fuel. Here comes the kill shot. I didn't actually mean to spawn in then. I forgot if you hit escape once you've selected a slot, it just spawns you anyway. Man, it's hard to keep eyes on each other. Yeah. All good though. The hardest battle. Lucky I was able to keep the radar on him because I lost sight there. Okay, we've got a jink. He's got the nose on. There we go, we'll force the overshoot here. Might have a chance at a snap. No, not quite. But we'll pull onto him here. Too healthy. Yeah, my guns aren't working for the bail. Alright, like crap. In you go, mate. Big blue slot crap. Thankfully the Sukhoi is quite large and nice and easy to keep eyes on compared to uh, another Mirage or an F5 or a Horner. Rudder it in, get the nose on him for a snap here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Skinned him. This breaks out, it's trying to force the overshoot. Alright, Rossman. Make sure Shawnee doesn't get behind me. If he gets behind me, I'm in deep trouble. If I can keep him in front, then I can pretty much kill him at my leisure. Are you gonna get the nose around? Yes, he is. Shit. Get skinny. Force the overshoot. He can't drag his nose up there. Good, good. Rudder it in. Okay, we're good. We survived the dangerous time. Now we are sweet. more so I can record it so you can see my controls locking up. Yeah, no worries, man. Control issues are the last thing you need in an environment like this. 
I speak from a position of experience with my runner. Come on. Nose around. The head limits in this are still kind of janky. It's like they fixed them for one or two patches and now they're back to the way they used to be. So it's very easy to get stuck under the canopy bow or under the, the HUD base. Which is annoying. Workable, but annoying. Um, it Because I have to move my head to reset it to get behind the HUD, it messes up a lot of snapshot opportunities just because I'm in totally the wrong view, totally the wrong angle. Can't judge it. I have the same problem with some other aircraft, but the Mirage is definitely the worst defender. Jump. Done. Uh, I think Reaper, I think you're next. I go blue, blue slow. I'm in. Yeah, it could be the lag. My DCS, not so much now, but recently uh, has been playing up quite badly when I get near another aircraft just because of the way it loads textures in. They seem to have fixed it, which is nice. It only took me two months, but hey. We can maybe start playing the game more seriously now. Still freezes any time I go near an F-14 though. Denying him the shot. He's in the UFO, so this could be interesting. He actually has the speed and acceleration to get away from me. Though whether he'll actually use it is another thing entirely. Not sure what that was. Test shooting, maybe. Make sure his gun's working. Now the F-15's damage model is seven shades of fucked. It can fly with damn near the entire plane missing, so we gotta make sure we actually get in and kill him. The F-15 seems to be kind of in the place the MiG-21 used to be when I first started playing, where the flight model and the damage model don't talk to each other, because I've noticed no impact on handling or performance when I've been uh, fighting against F-15s when they're, you know, missing half a wing and one engine's on fire. There we go. That Let's was go. pretty conclusive. Alright, uh, it's... And crap, then me. Wait, who's up? You're up. And oh, crap's right. up to you. Spawning in. not going to get his nose around, so we'll just let him go over. And cut in here. Looks like he just about stalled it there. It's a good effort, but not quite. I saw it coming. So I got my rear view kill. Alright, crap. Just 
spawning. Depends on the tank. Some tanks had steering Morning, wheels bro. in World War II, some had levers, most of them had levers. Ships always had wheels. Spell lost sight of him there. Yeah, extremely. I mean, even now tanks have pretty bad visibility, except for, you know, like, if they have cameras mounted or something. Tanks have never had good visibility. It's kind of a side effect of being in a big armored box. The, the more visit, like, the more vision ports you have, or periscopes or whatever, the more entry points there are for bullets or, you know, explosives or just bad things in general. So they've always had very limited visibility. Tanks are extremely reliant on uh, infantry to protect them from enemy infantry. Otherwise, they'll, have, they'll be able to just climb all over the tank and have their way with it. Oh god, he's in a mirage as well. This is going to be difficult. Oh, he's trying to get the nose up. Oh! Oh! Where the fuck's he gone? He went under me? Yes! Oh, come on. Oh, I'm so lucky. He so nearly had Bro, that nose on me. You should leave your lights on for me. I'm leaving mine on for you. <laughs> Not the three switches immediately in front of the throttle, but the ones above that. The ones in, thr in front of the throttle you want. I think one's the engine cones and one is something else important. Maneuver flaps, I think. Slats, right. whatever. Force the overshoot here. Oh! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Dug in a little bit there. Didn't explode instantly. I fully tail dragged my Mirage the other, the other fight, and it didn't. Your uh, left wing tip dug in on my screen. Kind of flipped you around. Yeah, that one there. Top. Yeah. Alright. Uh, repeat. Didn't fly. Yeah, so view from armored vehicles is a bit better now with advances in uh, in optics, things like external cameras and so on, but it's still not great. Uh, a lot of the tanks that are currently in service are still designs from the 70s and 80s, so they still have to deal with things like optical periscopes. And the placement of those optics um, can possibly compromise the armor or the uh, CBRN protection of the tank, depending where they are, so they can't always be in the most convenient places. Tanks tend to be quite cramped as well, so you've got to factor that in as well.
You also run into issues like the edge effect, where if you have a penetration through a piece of steel armor, say like uh, for a viewport or something, it actually can weaken the um, the entire armor plate, depending where it is. I'm not 100% on the physics of it myself, I just know in a general sense what it is, and that's one of the reasons I stopped putting uh, like machine gun ports in the front armor plates of tanks, aside from the fact it was just generally not that useful. Um, and also it's one of the reasons why uh, interlocked welds like the Germans and sometimes the Soviets used during World War II were not actually a very good idea because it just it messes with the uh, stress patterns in the steel plate and it makes it brittle so if it gets hit in a certain place it makes it much more likely to splinter. Mary, I wasn't expecting that to hit anything. Did psych him out a bit though, because he's reversed his turn. He's way over his corner speed by the looks of it, and I've got enough distance that even if he was at it, I'd still be able to pull inside. Lucky. Jesus. All time roll is about to shoot. chips here. There we go. Good kill, good kill. Yeah, there were tanks in World War One, that's when they were invented. I believe the first tank entered service in 1916, I think it was. British Mark One. Spawning in. Yep. Might have been 1915, I think it was 1916 though. So they weren't there right at the start of the war, they were developed during it. Specifically as a response to trench warfare. The need to have a vehicle that could cross the mud in the trenches. And was also uh, impervious to machine gun fire. And watch his nose. Roll away. Okay. We're safe now. Cut under him here. Start ruddering it in. He's gonna go for another shot. I think he might be able to crank the nose. Oh, yep, just. Good thing he didn't have the lead right, or I would have been in trouble there. Okay, we got a chance for a snap as he crosses under us. Like so. Holy crap. Yeah, I tried to pull up and get a snap, but uh, it didn't work out so You won't pull up if you're under me. Like, you physically can't do it in the Hornet. That's why I try and get above you guys out of the merge. Once I'm above you, I'm safe. I thought That's you guys cool. were going to collide for a minute. Yeah, it'll close. It's calculated. Yeah, I feel like if we were a little bit more apart, I would have had the time to get it out. Is that an eagle? Looks like one. Didn't get a good look as I went into the merge. 
The F-15's gun pipper is much more stable than the Hornets, and the gun itself is more accurate, which makes no goddamn sense, because it's the exact same fucking gun. So I've got to be real careful against Eagles. They can take much better long-range shots. Yeah, that's an F-15. Right, well that changes a few things. We can't be quite as fast and loose with our energy, otherwise he'll run away. And I gotta really watch, I don't get in front of his nose at all, for any reason. of your fucking teeth, Tawny. He is so lucky. We'll get him here. He can't get his nose around quick enough. Oh, not quite. I can't either. Oh! Nice. Baited me into the ground. You are so fucking lucky, I nearly had you. <laughs> Missed you by a cunt hair. Alright, next one up. Hidden flop. Saying as a neutral observer, you guys are turning at the exact same rate, so far. <laughs> Whoever's on the lowest fuel state may want to break out of this. Fight's 
between mirages turn into a downward spiral of uh, full right, or you know, full stick and full rudder into the uh, center of the two. Fights between hornets turn into endless um, horizontal turns against each other like that. That's a shot. Nice. Looks like he's still flying. Barely. I wish my guns would work even without a computer. Yeah, I know. It would be nice. <laughs> Damn winged iPhones. Too reliant on technology. side of him. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Couldn't get his nose around. Oh, just about lost sight. There we go. Okay, he's gonna come in for another snap here. I'm gonna get the nose down for some speed. Start cranking it. Good kill. Shouldn't have let him get above me. When he gets above me, he is very dangerous. There is just nothing left in my plane. Nothing at all.
Like I was acting like he was drunk. Yeah, gives them a rock. Uh, there's three of you fighting each other in the same. going on here? <laughs> oh wait, who's on? Who's on? Ah, <laughs> uh, Ross Mum's in. Yeah. Couldn't tell which of you I was supposed to be looking at. Flight controls are fucked. Oh, they definitely are now. Sabotage! You can redo that one, man. I didn't know that you were supposed to be in. Alright, let's go. In for. Oh, why am I in my eyes now? Wait, I'm spawning. Here we go.
Bien. Is he towards me or away? He's towards. Fuck. Nice. I can't let him get over me like that. Cannot let him get above me. That was good. Because as soon as he does, he just sets up for that head on, and because he has so much ammo, he can hose away all day. As long as he tags me with one round, it's worth it. Finish him. If Tony can get it. He's so close. So close. Just not quite there. Right past his fuck here. There we go. Many of you guys are wondering where the Hornet's gun is. It's right in the middle of the nose, just above the radar. Right there. 
good. Well, back a bit. Ha <laughs> ha, cop that! <laughs> you now I'm just gonna actually regain visual, there he is. Keep nice and high so he can't get his nose up. Start ruddering it in, he isn't going to get the shot here. He's going to go vertical again, he knows that if he gets under me he's done. So he wants to try and get around for another shot before I can get above him. But, he also can't raise his nose when he's under me. So if I can just stay above him in these head-on passes, there we go, we've forced him down. And this is the point where he's got to really work to try and avoid uh, me killing him here. It's basically my fight to lose now that I'm behind him. He's going to start really jinking and playing with his speed here to try and force me past him. Will force me to stall out. We'll lose him behind the uh, canopy bow, which is also an issue I have with the Mirage. Okay, you got me to bleed too much energy there. We might be able to cut inside here. I can't keep up with his turn here without bleeding too much speed. Start pulling. We use the speed we just built to get the nose on him again. He can't. Oh, yes, he can! Did not expect him to hit that, but that's okay. Go for the snap as he crosses the nose here. Not quite enough. Holding her on the edge here. We'll let him pass, force the nose down, and start building some speed. Let's 
So we're going to extend out. Nice for our way to nowhere right there. We're going to extend out and get some distance. vaguely see him behind me. It's back there. I'm trying to get distracted by my own shadow. actually lose sight of him there. Just gonna make sure we don't let him get into a good shooting position. There he is. Oh my god! Oh, nice. I thought I got away from that there. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna call it. Thank you very much for the fights. No worries, bro. Thank you. Pleasure, sir. Catch you guys later. Yep, there you go. Yeah, I gotta cruise as well, boys. It's uh, time to go for me. Alright, there we go. So he's getting there, he can actually kill me now. The biggest danger is uh, in that remerge after the initial merge, but he can get on my tail if I get careless or if I lose sight of him, which is what happened there. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see who else is on and send you over that way. And I'm going to go get some food in me and then probably get some sleep since I've been up since about 1am. It's uh, coming up 4 in the afternoon here. Looks like Pom is on, so I think I'll send you guys over his way. Right. There we go. So yeah, um, Tawny's getting there. He's getting there. If he can get to the point where it's a more even fight between us, then he's going to have a real good time in that competition. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time. That's what I tell people, I'm like, you don't see me running away from it. I had like most of the red team streams made through me too, it was great. Yeah. And they were so. sitting there they were sitting there trying to figure out if they could get any information. I'm thinking to myself, no, I'm just killing all you bastards over your airfield right now. And I think that's why we pushed so far.